my boy Slowpoke! You give him back! You give him back! How dare. You could have literally taken any other Pokemon. But you had to take a Slowpoke. Now I'm mad. Urgh. Angy. No one messes with my Slowpokes. <laughs> Game was like... Interdimensional Galactic Bat Game Freeze. <laughs> do, 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 do. What type is Luna Owl again? Is it just Psychic? Is it Psychic Flying? Oh, wait, I forget. You're, I think you're right, Squid, was it? Wait, no, I think you're right. Wait, no, Team Skull, I shouldn't be fighting you right now. You're protecting my little boy, aren't you? Wait, hang on. No, I think I just got that backwards. That's right. No, yeah, that's right. Aether Foundation takes the slow pokes. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, no, you're right. I apologize, Team Skull. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. Mainly because I just like play them. So well, except for Arceus. I know a lot about that game. I enjoyed that game. I like Sword and Shield, I did not enjoy that game, so I like beat it and forgot about it. Kind of the same thing with X and Y, and apparently Sun and Moon, and apparently Brilliant Diamond. Actually, I didn't even play that game. I played it for like 12 minutes. I got to the underground and then just stopped. Find out next time on the, uh, next week's episode of Dragon Ball Z. Bro, who is she? Plumeria? I love how outlandish the names in this game are. They're just so out there, bro. Gotta go pack up my car. No worries. No worries, Skinny. I'm gonna take PTO to stream. Yeah, exactly. It just depends on how much I have. Like, I already took... I took, like, five or six days of PTO for TwitchCon. And then I'm gonna have to take a handful of days for, uh... A wedding that I'm going to in November. And then I also think I have to take some PTO for Christmas. Because I believe my family's going to Florida at some point. So I kind of gotta make sure I have PTO for that. But, uh... I feel like I'll be doing at least a 24 hour, like the day one 24 hour, if not um, some sort of like marathon-esque stream, if I can take enough days off of work. We're at in Florida, you're in Tampa. Uh, I actually don't know where we're gonna be going. I don't remember where this family member lives. I'll DM you about it later. Do 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 do. I gotta ask, because I legitimately have no clue. Bro, can you not, man? I'm just trying to hit you for super effective damage, bro. But I mean, I guess when you're that strong, it doesn't matter if it's super effective or not. No, it's lock with them or just normal run them first. So, if the starters can be shiny, I'm gonna shiny hunt them. And then after that, it's just gonna be a standard playthrough, just so I can, like, experience. And then right after that, I'll probably do, like, some sort of Nuzlocke thing for TikTok. Because, like, I don't know how well a standard playthrough would do on TikTok. What? Again? Uh, 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 again? Maple, you didn't send me the completed one, bro. Is that allowed? <laughs> Is that shit allowed? <laughs> Dude, you know what's you know what's <laughs> you know you know what's funny? You still don't have the emote. So you're like 5k away. Unless you already did bits before. I don't I don't know how much you've done before. But what the fuck? Why? Holy shit! Maple just sent me the emote. Hang on, guys. Hang on, guys. We're on the fly adding emotes to streams. Give me give me two seconds. Viewer rewards, emotes. We're adding an emote as we speak. Save image. <laughs> Maple named the document. <laughs> Take me funds. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, emotes. What should we name this one? Anyways, dude, bruh, 
you're literally insane, man. Like, holy hell. Yeah, no, bruh. I mean, you said it, bro. L like, literally everything that everything that comes in from, like, on the stream side. So, like, if you guys donate bits, if you guys give subs, if you guys whatever. Um, all of that literally goes back into content creation. Whether it's paying for emotes, paying for the animation of some emotes, paying for an editor, paying for all that kind of stuff. You know, like, the expenses for going to trips, for, you know... I actually need to run down to the store and buy some booster boxes because I believe we hit something like two months ago and I still haven't bought the boxes. But me and the editor take all of your money, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Which, and that's fine with me because legitimately, like, I'm getting to the point where... So when we started doing content create, when I started doing content with, like, the Emerald Let's Play that we did, I s could sit down and edit, like, a week's worth of TikToks and a week's worth of YouTube videos in one night. And now my brain is so like ADHD and all over the place and trying to do so many things all at once. I literally can't get anything done because I like get so in my head about getting things done that I don't get anything done. If that makes any sense. So diversifying the workload via payments <laughs> will make everything a lot easier and we can make way more content this way. Yeah, no, Maple understands. I feel like any artist would actually understand that. Because, like, when I used to do freelance stuff, I would get so in my head about the commissions and, like, what order I want to do them in, how I want to be productive. I would get so in my head about doing the work that I wouldn't end up doing the work. It, like, I would, I would instead of, instead of being able to do, like, 100% of a day's work, I'd be able to do, like, 15% of a day's work. And I would be exhausted because of how much I'm stressing and thinking about things. I think there's one person or two people maybe that have donated more bits than Bra as like an all-time high. Definitely not for this week. <laughs> De definitely not. Yeah, no, Maple. I, I feel like it might just be like a creative thing because because Tom is also an artist and it sounds like they do the same exact thing. I feel like it's I feel like it's definitely like a um like an artist kind of thing. Also, I'm really tired of listening to my own voice. Sitting down for like six hours or eight hours on the weekend and during the week and listening to my own voice editing my TikToks, it gets so annoying listening to my own thing. It's an artist and content creator thing, yeah. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon has phenomenal music, but that's not really mainstream um, or main series. I love Gen 3, specifically Oras, so probably that. Let's go ahead and switch out Sandy Gast for now. And actually, let's check this thing out, because we haven't looked at it yet. It's got the innards out ability, which I believe is Pukumuku's? Yeah, exactly, Elmo. Uh, uh, same thing. But the thing that I really love about the Gen 3 music is the fact that there's so many trumpets in the audio. I love it so much. I love it so much. There's no fucking way that this guy just pulled out of like a bolt strike or whatever fucking move he just used. There's no way that the first battle we use our Tornadus and it just fucking dies. There's no way. That didn't happen, right? Did I? Am I like hallucinating? Did Brog get in my head with all of his generosity today? Did that just actually happen? The first battle we use? There's no... Where did you pull that from, bro? You're a ground water type. Why did you have fusion strike or fusion bolt? What? Bro, do we have a token? No, not in this run. That was only a chaos lock thing. I feel like if I have tokens in every run that I do, every run's going to be too easy. And I have enough people bitching about my content as it is. I don't really need to give them any more reason to. Every single run that I do is invalid for one reason or another. So yeah, uh, that just happened. That was cool. Oh, uh, but yeah, if you're you're new here, Lime, uh, I'm very bad at Pokemon. So <laughs> and I'm not actually really bad at Pokemon. It's just like this joke because I lose shit for stupid reasons. And I normally do like crazy difficult randomizers and, and stuff like that. This was more of like a chill let's play because I wanted to take a breather from everything that was stupid. But like the randomizer that we did before this was a Coliseum randomizer. 
And if you've played Colosseum, you know that randomizing that game is just pure chaos in itself because the game is unnecessarily difficult to Nuzlocke as it is. And then before that, we did a Pokemon Black randomizer where everything and literally everything was randomized and every trainer battle was a double battle. It was insane. The moves were randomized. The moves themselves, like the power, the type, the accuracy, the power points, whether it was physical or special, all of that was randomized. The abilities were randomized. The encounters were randomized. The Pokemon's evolutions were randomized. The trainer battles were randomized. Like, literally everything was. The store was randomized. Like, dude, what are the chances, bro? Like, the first time we use Tornadus, it just gets hit with... I think it was, like, Fusion Strike or something. Who am I bringing to the team to replace that legend? Um, Do I want to bring... I already have enough water. I feel like maybe we bring Infernape. I could use I could use the fighting types. Yeah, let's bring Infernape. 